that, is that a gravestone? That is what you think it is. That is a tombstone. It's a name and a date. That is a not a normal thing to have leaning up against the home. My name is Shanna Leddy, and I'm a journalist and radio presenter. I love working in London, but it's not my home. Home will always be North Wales, where I grew up. Not far from where I grew up, there was a farmhouse that was supposedly the most haunted house in Britain. It was called Penaforth Farm. I mean, this was in the news, yeah? It was a really big deal. I think that's why I've been so drawn to it over all these years. Because what the hell was going on in this house? It says here, a family called the Gowers moved in in 1997. There's muffled voices in empty rooms, figures appearing. My head says it must have been bollocks. But it says here, so far, even after extensive studies by an expert psychologist, Dr. Daniels, no rational explanation has been found. Right, hang on. This is the man I need to talk to. Yeah, Dr. Daniels. I didn't know that this one email would be the beginning of a six month journey, but I would question everything. Best wishes. This is the most haunted house in Wales. Oh my God, what am I doing? You could feel the presence. <gasps> the power of God protects us. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. This is like horror film territory now, though, yeah. I actually am really scared. And ironic, considering that I don't know if I believe in this stuff or not. Hi, Sean. Hi, are you Hello. Dr. Daniels? Lovely to meet you. Yeah, you yeah. too. We're heading in there. Yeah, yeah. Right. Tell me what you do. Well, I'm a psychologist. Okay. And I've always had an interest in the psychology of the paranormal, interested in strange phenomena, spiritual experience, paranormal experience. Do you believe in ghosts? The bottom line is, I want the evidence. I'm not one of these people who will believe because I want to believe. I approach things skeptically. When this case came along, it was a very spectacular case. It wasn't just people relating something that they had experienced. There were actual physical things in the house that could be observed. Is that a gravestone? That is what you think it is. That is a tombstone. It's a name and a date. That is a not a normal thing to have leaning up against the home. Yes. It, well, it's not. You're right. It's not a normal thing. This is the, the main lounge. They were stains of words on their walls. All those post-it stickers are, are different carvings and stains. Oh my gosh, there's loads of them. Over 200. So there was a lot to investigate. The family would say they would turn away and then they'd look back and there was a new stain there. Personally, I'd never seen anything quite like that before. There are a few cases over the years where there have been the odd writing on the wall, but nothing, nothing of that scale. What makes you think that it definitely wasn't them carving things into the walls? That's obviously something you have to consider as a, as a researcher. Is this someone with a, a, a mental health problem or a deliberate hoax? Is it being done for fun? Or is it genuinely paranormal? But there were some very strange things about the stains and the carvings. The fact that the, the carvings didn't seem to be scratched out, they looked indented into the plaster work. And there were some that were done behind heavy furniture and behind a radiator, kind of behind the back of a radiator. I wasn't clear exactly how you could do that. And interestingly, some of the carvings disappeared. Oh my God. Exactly. <laughs> 
you can explain how carvings can appear, but it's a yes. little bit more difficult to explain how a carving can disappear. It's not a case of being able to just polyfill a No, a... no. There was no evidence that anyone had polyfilled in. You know, there's so much going on. There are so many things happening in this case. It remains a mystery. In a sense, we've only, we've only looked at the tip of the iceberg. Maybe the best thing that, that you could do, I've, I've brought a load of archive material along with me, which I've kept for 20 odd years. Would you be interested in taking it away, having a look at it yourself and, and seeing what you make of it?